Raymond Bleischwitz. I'm professor and BHP Billiton Chair in Sustainable Global Resources at University College London and the newly established Institute for Sustainable Resources. I was talking here on this conference about resource efficiency in construction. And I believe it's a, a fairly interesting topic because construction is one of the most resource intensive areas in every economy. One out of three, it's mobility, it's uh, food, and it is construction. So construction matters a lot. And construction and buildings are from that point of view not only energy relevant, but also very much resource relevant. Think about uh, all the uh, new cities in the global south, for instance. And what's interesting is that the resource efficiency agenda helps architects, city planners, building engineers to develop better houses at the end of the day with better materials to integrate the different functions of the building and at the same time have this life cycle view. It definitely should also include the people living in the buildings. So the winners of a resource efficiency agenda for construction would be the people because more efficiency means lower prices and you can then afford living in a better house, which is energy efficient. So that should be interesting, right? One of the areas where we will observe a number of changes, probably the most massive change is coming from the mega cities emerging in China, in India, in Africa, where it really matters whether you do it in the conventional way, with conventional materials, with a uh, medium type of energy performance, or whether you do it in the most resource efficient, water saving, energy efficient way. And the second is indeed the alternative. And as I said, it's not necessarily more expensive, it's definitely cost saving, in particular when you take like a 10 years perspective or take into account climate change or those things. So it matters a lot. Uh, what I also find interesting here in the UK or in Europe, since many urban areas are suffering, the prices are just too high and in particular young people start to rebel for a reason that there's a lot that can be done to refurbish the buildings, to bring the people back to jobs and at the same time to make the housing affordable because if you do it in an efficient way you have some savings you realize and from that perspective my vision for 10 years would be a Europe where the younger people, where the elder people are happy to live in better houses and at the same time the employment performance could be improved. So I think that's a good uh, way to go. Let's hope that happens. Thanks very yeah. much. Okay, thanks.